Hi, I'm Marlo from Wild Food UK, just out for a, a quick walk, not too far from my house, and I found a mushroom that I've never done a video on before, so uh, I thought I'd show it to you guys. It's a, it's a lovely spring mushroom to know, and we've got a few examples of it in kind of all stages of growth, really, down here, so this will be a nice informative video. Here we've got our tiny little babies. It is quite dry at the moment, so possibly slightly darker than they would normally be, or not quite the same colour as they would normally be. And you can see them growing in clusters. That's one of the first clues to, to what this mushroom might be. And then we've got some older fellas here and some lots of little babies all in amongst them as well. Again, growing in clusters and this bit directly out of wood chip, as you can see there. And over here, we've got the most mature one, which uh, I think I'll pick one of these and this one just to show you the features of the mushroom. So let me just lever him up out the ground, see what we can get. And we are oh, not quite with this one, but we'll try again. Something I'd like to show you. Here we've got uh, the Agrocybe precox, which um, to mycologists is a, a little clade of mushrooms, a complex of four or five species that are all almost identical, um, but show slightly different uh, qualities when you look at them genetically. Uh, this one, the spring field cap, is one that I recognise uh, because it's got a smooth, shiny cap. There's other agrocybes and some... I've done a video on the uh, Cyclocybe cylindrosia, which has been farmed off into another little genus. That's the poplar field cap. And that one and the rivulosa, the agrocybe rivulosa, which is another potential lookalike, they tend to have wrinkled skin. Whereas the precox complex has a shiny cap. Now, like most of the agrocybes, I think there's one that doesn't. This agrocybe has a, a ring on the stem. And I like to describe the gill colour here as kind of not quite agaricus. <laughs> if, you could, if you know what agaric gills are like, you'll see what I mean. At, at this stage of maturity, an agaric gills would be darker than this. They're always just that little bit lighter but a similar colour. So these are mushrooms that you could potentially mistake for your agaric species of mushrooms, but it's not a bad mistake to make because none of the agrocybes are known to be toxic or none of the ones that I know of in the UK. And certainly the poplar field cap, that cyclocybe cylindrosia, that's one of my favourite edibles. Now, there's a few other ways that you know you've got a precox. First of all, it's a wood chip mushroom. It loves growing in clusters on wood chip. And secondly, it's spring. It's called the spring field cap for a reason. So it's one of the first mushrooms that you start seeing in spring in large quantities. This is a tiny little patch. I've honestly seen this growing where there might have been over 200 fruiting bodies on a, on a big pile of wood chip. And that's the more common way to find them. Um, if anything, that was uh, why I had to take a close look at these mushrooms to figure out that they're, well, exactly what they were because growing in little clusters like this uh, is slightly unusual but then when Eric and I started digging around in the grass we found all the babies and I realized it's just a little bit early this will turn into uh, about 50 fruiting bodies just around where my knees are at the moment over the next week or so which if it wasn't for the fact that I had a St George's mushroom patch just around the corner here and I consider those a little bit tastier would mean that I was a, a lucky forager because they are edible they have a, a bit of a bitter taste raw, in fact, quite a bitter taste raw, but they lose that bitter taste when you cook them. So they're not a bad edible as far as I'm concerned, but they're not quite as good as my Georgies I've got that way and my Morels that I've got not too far away up the road at this time of year as well. So uh, these are going to get lucky. They probably won't end up in my pot. And there's the mature one. I'll just see if I can get a few more of the features for you on these slightly younger, more robust looking ones. 
Right, now one of the things I'm trying to get out to show you is this, yes. They have a very strong, I suppose, mycelial cord, you'd call that. You can see those threads of mycelium, which are quite thick, almost as thick as the, the rhizomorphs that you would see on uh, the armillaria species, the honey fungus. Now, if I turn it over at this stage, you'll see, just like an agaric, you cannot see the gills. That veil there is going to turn into the skirt that you see there when the mushroom uh, matures a little bit more. So uh, what we can do here is just expose the gills. And unlike the agarics, the skirt is, well, unlike most of the agarics, the skirt is much more fragile. Um, the skirt on the agaric species of mushrooms tends to be a bit more permanent. And you can see that there, that one is falling apart. And that hasn't even been touched. So sometimes, in fact, quite often on uh, the precocks in particular, uh, you'll find that you won't see a skirt or you'll only be able to see the remains of a skirt on the more mature species. So there we go. There's the gills. Much lighter when young. Just like an agaric, darkening up a bit as they get older. So here we are. Agrocybe precox, uh, an edible that I would go for if I didn't have some slightly tastier mushrooms just around the corner. But it's good to know what this one is because if you keep your eyes peeled for mushrooms in spring, this one really stands out because of, like I say, the fact that it grows in huge fruiting bodies uh, or numerous fruiting bodies in, in just one little patch on wood chip, which makes them quite a visible mushroom. Anyway, here we go the spring field cap. Now go out and find some for yourselves. Uh, and if you want to find out more about mushrooms, go to www.wildfooduk.com.